Okay, so here, my fellow collectors, we have the most coveted silver dollar since the 1893 S. Morgan. It's the 1925 S. San Francisco piece dollar. Averse, reverse. Designation is a little above the left feather head. What makes this coin in such hard demand? Well, you know what? There is no more demand. There are only 24 coins. 1920, I'm sorry. There are only 24 1925 S Mint State 65 designated coins in the world. Okay? So if I'm holding 41, I'm sorry, if I'm holding one, there's only 41 others out there. And I don't know of any individual selling them. I actually know everyone that does have this coin. So you can actually go by the price guide. Yet yeah, that price guide is null and void because now the people that own all 42 pieces, you know, the 28S, which was the second highest, I think she's fetching around $21,500. She has a population of about 64. Highest de designation is 70. You gotta realize you're looking at a coin that's almost 100 years old, yet this coin was never, ever in a person's in hands. This was actually in a roll, which makes the MS Mint State, which makes this a tremendous asset, Heritage House doesn't have any on auctions. David Lawrence. If you call all the major auction houses, you will not see this coin anywhere. I would take a guess that the next coin to be auctioned off, I wouldn't even put, couldn't even put a dollar amount on it. I honestly couldn't even put a dollar amount on it. And basically, the seller was going to get what they want to complete their registry and the irony is is uh it's you know it's not even one ounce of silver it's just the grade there are none graded in mint state 66 none graded in, there's none graded higher this is the highest graded coin there are some mint state 64 pluses yet they're only worth around 35 for 3500 dollars so anyone that's out there that's looking for the coin there are none for sale, so that will make, that's what makes this an asset. See, if you actually look at it, it has the original toning around the top of the coin. I know I'm not using the best camera, my iPhone 5S, yet. 42. That's it. I'm holding one here. There's 41. I could tell you there's 30 in Texas. Eight in California, two in Florida, and the remainder, the individual is in, where is he? He's up in Montana. So, if you check the PCG registry, I would be, I'm, I got in at the right time. Precious metals are just going up. Now, there is no correlation between the spot price and a coin of this the designation. There is no correlation whatsoever. So if you're looking at this coin and you're saying, well, it's only worth an ounce of silver, you know, and this is of everyone. I know individuals like to spend thousands of dollars on tattoos and lease cars, but what do you have at the end? This is basically the legacy I'm building for my children. And when I started, I was ranked 200. Then I went to the low 100s. Then I broke the top 50. Then I broke the top 20. And I think they were going. They are going to release PCGS Professional Coin Grading Service. Okay, guaranteed. Once it's Sonic sealed, and it's just this is an asset. You know, 
A lot of people collect coins that are graded lower, and that's understandable, but yet, if you do see this coin come out, this is something to snatch up. Like I said, most coins, most 1921, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28. There's no 29, there's no 30, no 31, no 32, no 33 due to the stock market crash and the depression. So the 34, 35, and they also have the 35S. You'll see them in Men's State 66, but they're quite abundant. So for those who appreciate the peace dollar, I promise that I would get it out. Make a little video.